PSA Reloaded, man. It's your boy, Three Letter Man. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, where to follow your boy at. Um, Y'all see the title of this particular blog, man. We are talking Gnome 12. We are talking 100K on the line. Part itself, 120K on the line now. Shout out to the homie, Gerald McCoy. I was just in Twitter spaces with Gerald McCoy at a verb. Shout out to the brother, G Gerald McCoy and everything. That's my guy. Um... But we are talking JC and Swamp right now. Now, let me say this. We all know the story between Swamp, what he's been through, his journey to get way, to get here, um, to the finals here at Gnome 12, Houston, Texas, and everything like that. We all know JC won the battle. We all know all the judges from Quest McCody, Polo, John John Adon, um, um, and Calico also, they all gave JC the battle. Now... I don't think nobody. I don't think Swamp got robbed at all, but I had Swamp winning the battle. Let me just say this again: I had Swamp winning this battle two one, but I'm not sitting and saying Swamp got robbed. I'm not gonna say that. I'm just saying for me, right? So that's not taking nothing away from JC. I can't take nothing away from JC anyway. He won the money. All the talk about his brothers are gonna split the bread on some EFB ish. That wasn't happening. JC said it yesterday himself it, during, um, was it 15 Minutes of Fame? Or Hip Hop was real loud. Oh, no. It was during a face off, wasn't it? When he was like, oh, you know, whoever wins tomorrow, he ain't really losing nothing or something like that. Because I tweeted out, nah, JC, if you, you know, you got to, you got to know him and everything is Gucci, bro. That's a lot of bread that you lost. That's a, that, that's, that's, that's a little painful. I gotta be honest with you and, and it's like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I had Swamp one and two. I had JC winning the third round. I think the first round is very debatable. Um, the second round is debatable to also to me because I think the, I think the second round is more more much more debatable because I think that was the round where if I had to pick a round between two guys tonight in, in Gnome 12 where they went at it in a round, it would be the second round for, for um, Swamp and JC in my opinion. But here's the thing. I feel like Swamp messing up in the third round, that gives the, the, the judges leeway to be like, fam, we give it just on the strength of that. I, me personally, I would say this. Are y'all shocked at all? Even if JC, are you shocked at all that no judges had Swamp winning the battle? Like, no judge at all? Like, not... It's a, you know what I mean? Like I said, like I said, I'm not mad that JC won the battle. I just feel Swamp got that first and second, man. I thought Swamp first round coming out there, man. Um, Swamp checked smack about messing up his name. Um, the slab line was tough. The Houston war, that was crazy. Um, I know, and we in Houston, and that Scotty-ish. I thought Swamp did a good thing doing what DNA does, current events and, and pandering to the Houston crowd. You know, you compare my, 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 my young boy, young... young Real sick having the A Town stomp line in Houston. Swamp did opposite. He stayed on Houston and made sure he knew what Houston talks about. He's using the word slab. That's a Houston word, slab. You know what I mean? Um, Swamp came out rapping in that first round. I thought, bro, what you about four two ish? I couldn't bury you six feet if I wanted to. That was crazy. The Drake line was dope. Um, and listening to Swamp, I just feel he got so much better, man. If we had a most improved battle rap of the year, that would be Swamp to me. Automatically, Swamp would get most improved battle rap of the year, in my opinion. You know what I mean? Talked about what he had to do to, to beat all his opponents. I thought that was dope. That Elon Musk line was tough. Um, the little baby shoes hanging on my mirror. That was, I, thought, I thought Swamp had a, a dope first round. And mind you, I picked JC to win this battle. Let me be clear. I picked JC to win this battle. I didn't have to pick Swamp to win any of his battles. Round one, JC. Um, the Boston, Jason Tatum line. I like the Boston. I like the basketball scheme and everything like that. I thought that was dope. You know? And how JC played on words is so fire. The Wig, the you know, Wiggins to the finals. How he did all that. The page is shot like Chris Webber. The Swamp Frank Lucas line. I just feel like when JC be rapping, he's rapping to the crowd. And, and don't get me wrong, JC can rap, bro. He's fine. JC is dope, bro. 
But I had Swamp taking that first round. I just, I just like, I like Swamp material more. That's not taking nothing away from JC. I just like Swamp's material more in the first round. Um, round two, Swamp spoke about Verb. Um, talking about how Verb said he just spit the bread and everything like that. And you know how many kids I got. Um, the dance steps. Talk from Swamp. Your shooter, your life on the line was crazy. Who's going to save you? One stick will flip your whole team like a foosball table. That was crazy, man. Like, even Verb had tweeted out, man, that Swamp is a bad matchup for a lot of punches, bro. Moving forward, I seen Verb put that tweet out there. And the wild thing about Swamp in the second round, most dudes rebuttal in the beginning of the round. Swamp rebuttals mid half the round. He rebuttaled, Swamp, he rebuttaled JC's Chris Webber line, and it hit. It wasn't rebuttal where it didn't hit. It, the rebuttal hit, and he did it mid-round. I didn't expect him to do that. I'm like, okay, if you're going to rebuttal, if you watch Danny Myers and Nun Nun all night, these guys rebutting left and right from the, from the door. You know what I mean? And I just like how Swamp was finishing her, his rounds. A couple times, JC had to, they had to stop JC. You know what I'm saying? I, so, I listen. So, all right, JC second round, um, the... the the bungee rope line was, was dope. Um, can't avoid it line was crazy, man. JC definitely turned up in the second round. This is the round I'm talking about. He had the Quest Cal assist. How you talking about all the judges? I Quest Cal from, from my city, but they didn't pick me to win. I, I thought that was dope, you know? But if you notice, JC was saying stop the clock. And I think stop the clock not just on O's and O's. There's other stuff that he's doing also, you know what I mean, throughout the battle. The Undertaker line by JC was crazy. Says Swamp is with his sister, is just a relative or something like that. I thought both their rounds was 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 dope. This the this some they were, they were fighting in this second round. I'm talking about Swamp and JC were actually fighting in this second round on some yo, you catch that? Like they were going at it in the second round. You know what I mean? And in the third round, you know, the cemetery, cemetery common ground line by Swamp, you know, scared of his pen. What I did done best with the pen is real life or something. That was crazy, man. And then Swamp went into a memory loss. And I saw somebody on Twitter said JC threw Swamp off. I want to see the footage on that again. I saw some, two guys, in fact, tweeted me and said that the reason Swamp got off his square is because JC threw him off. Now, I, I said earlier, JC and Goods... If you watch my Easy to Block Captain and Goods Recap, I said those two brothers are very good at throwing you off your game. They're good at that. You know what I mean? But this is Swamp Lightest Round. But even when Swamp was messing up, he did try to get it back. But I said to myself, and people on Twitter were saying this also, Swamp, you left the door open because what's going to happen now is if you have a debatable round and all JC has to do is go finish clean in his third round, JC's going to get the third round. The third round is not even a discussion. JC, Julian Carter got round three. Nail UJ. Yeah, that guy, Nail UJ. Shout out to Chilla Jones and JC Classic Battle. He won the third round clearly. You know what I mean? And then, that, you know, all JC has to do is finish clean, man. Lost my mother and didn't take a loss since. Like, so I had JC clearly winning the third round. Now, Quest McCody had JC with a 30 ball. With a 30. You know what I'm saying? Because the third round, everybody has JC. We, we, it's really round two and three to talk about. Let's see. Quest had round two. He gave it to JC. Right? Round one, Polo. Polo gave Swamp the first round. I gave Swamp the first round, too. He gave JC the second round, which is a, is a very debatable round. So I can understand that. And JC gave the third round. You know, he got 2-1 JC. John John had JC edging the first. That Swamp taking the second. Think about that. John John is the only one that has Swamp taking the second. No, Calico did too. Calico had. Calico and John John both had. I don't know what's up with John John and Calico. They seem to have the same same um, picks as the other battle. So I had Swamp 2 1, man. Not taking nothing at all. I'm not taking nothing away from JC. Shout out. Congratulations to JC. What I'm saying is just hearsay. It's after the battle, all right? I want to watch the battle, or first watch. If I watch the battle again, I might have JC winning the battle. But I'm just going on first watch. I had 
Swamp 2-1, bro. It's your boy 3.